But if you are one of these women that are stuck in the diet trap and you seem to always be starting or stopping a diet or the efforts that you're doing are not working for you, then this is the right video for you to watch. So um, let me get into the presentation. First of all, I think we need to understand how our body actually gains weight. What happens when we eat is that our body breaks down our foods into carbohydrates and carbohydrates then convert into sugar, into glucose. Now to match that in the body, the body releases a hormone called insulin and insulin's role is very much to transport glucose molecules from around the cell wall into the cell. What they do, what insulin does, is it bonds with the glucose and it knocks on the wall of the cell. So if you imagine it's like, here's the cell and insulin comes along and it knock, knock, knock and the cell goes, oh yes, thank you very much. It opens up the cell wall and it transports the glucose inside of the cells. Now, if we have too much glucose, which is pretty normal in our standard supermarket diet today, if there's too much of this energy being released from the meal that we're eating, what happens is that those cells become very full. They're now full of sugar. And what insulin does is it continues to knock on the wall for a while. It'll go knock, knock, knock. And the cells will go, no, thank you very much. I'm rather full. It'll go knock, 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 knock. I'm trying to get in. And the cells go, no, no, I'm fine. Thank you very much. I've got enough energy. You can just go away. So what insulin does at that point is it will take these glucose molecules. It will convert them into fat, wrap a fat cell around it, and it will store it for later use. That's how we gain weight. Now, the problem that we've got today is that we are consuming a diet absolutely full of carbohydrates and we're eating too often. So what's going on in our body is our body is basically being signaled to continually store fat. Insulin is the hormone that signals the body to store fat, store fat, store fat. The problem with this is that over time, over many years of eating this way, the cells become desensitized to the effects of insulin. So now what we've got going on is that the insulin comes up to the cell wall, it knocks on the door of the cell wall and the cell goes, nah, I can't hear you. It literally cannot register this hormone insulin anymore. And what this does is it signals the body to produce even more insulin. Now all of a sudden we've got this upregulation of this hormone insulin. It's now being produced um, at, at dramatic speeds. And what happens is that our body then switches into this fat storage mode. The problem is, is that while we maintain that hormonal signal, while we're eating a diet that's sending those hormones to the body uh, to trigger it to store fat, we never go into what's called the fat burn mode. So if you stick around for a few minutes, I'm going to explain to you how to actually access that stored fat, which is what we want to know, right? Doesn't it make sense if we want to lose fat? We have to actually access that energy in the body to actually burn the fat. So basically, we've been told a few kind of myths and lies that I'm going to get to. But the first thing I need you to understand is that we have something in the body called the body weight set point. So to understand what I'm about to tell you, I need to explain what the body set, set point is. Basically, we have something called homeostasis. Your body, given the right environment, will heal itself. It will come back into perfect balance. In fact, throughout the day um, and throughout your lifetime, your body's constantly trying to find this, this thing called homeostasis, this perfect balance of health. Now, what happens is that as we reduce our caloric intake, okay, as we actually lower the amount of energy coming in via the diet, the typical standard diet, what happens is that this body set point, um, which should be balanced, all of a sudden, it's like a seesaw and it actually goes down. What happens at that point is that our metabolism can actually drop. So if we reduce our caloric intake over a number of weeks, what happens is that we know that the energy expenditure in our body, which is the output, the amount of energy we actually burn, actually reduces. In fact, dieting can reduce your metabolism by about 30 to 40%. So this is what happens, girls, when you go on a diet and it works for a short amount of time, then all of a sudden you hit the dreaded weight loss plateau. What's going on is your body is kind of resetting. It's making this metabolic adjustment and it's adjusting to the diet that you're on, which is you know, very disheartening, I know, you know, and this is where most women go, this isn't working anymore and I'm trying so hard and I've got all this willpower and I've mustered up this, but really what happens is that your body is making a metabolic adjustment to account for the amount of calories that you're reducing. So one of the things that we've been told that is a big, big myth that I want to share with you is this whole 
eat less, exercise more um, myth that we've been told. And this actually has done more harm than good. In fact, since this was introduced um, in the 1950s, this whole philosophy that we've all been raised and educated, okay, you've got to eat less, exercise more. It has actually never stood up to scientific scrutiny. In fact, we actually scientifically know that that is not an effective strategy at all, especially for long-term weight loss. The reason for that is that you can diet off a certain amount of energy, but because your metabolic rate and your metabolism drops, as soon as you start eating again, your body's going to want to go back to that actual body weight set point. This is the problem that we have. So your body's constantly fighting to stay where it is. This whole eat less um, move more philosophy though, I want to just quickly quickly tell you a little bit about calories so that you can understand that it's not about calories. What calories are is basically a, a form of energy um, that is burnt outside of the body. Your body doesn't have what we call receptor sites or the language to actually communicate a calorie. What your body understands is that it understands um, macronutrients, it understands fat, it understands carbohydrate and it understands proteins. Now, based on the amount of those things that we eat, our body is going to respond with different hormones. So in the case of carbohydrates, when we eat our, our breads and our rices and our sugars and things like that, what happens is that this hormone insulin spikes, you get this flood of insulin in the body, and this signals the body to store fat. So we've got to kind of look at what's going on. Now, if we were to reduce the amount of calories that we have, we know that what it does is that it lowers your basal metabolic rate. It will suppress your metabolism and everything will slow down. And what happens is that your body's now thinking that there's a famine coming. So if you think about it like this, we've evolved over a couple of million years as humans going through periods of famine and feast. We were not designed um, by nature to have three meals a day plus snacks. In fact, the latest research is now showing that we're having around six to ten meals a day. We've become this grazing kind of culture. The problem with that is that you are now constantly sending that signal to the body to continually store fat. And basically what happens is that everything slows down, you become cold and sluggish. So reducing calories in also reduces calories out. Increasing calories in actually also increases calories out. That's right. You can actually eat your way slim if you know what to eat and when to eat it. The secret really is meal timing. Um, the problem with this is that we don't manage, if we, if we do reduce our calories, we don't manage to fix that problem insulin resistance. We are not resensitizing our cells to listen to insulin anymore, so our body stays in this store fat mode. So it's, it becomes even more of an ineffective strategy. And what happens, as I said before, you will naturally go back to that body set point. Um, so this results in yo-yo dieting. So reducing calories is really not an effective weight loss strategy. What it does do, though, is that it stimulates the hormone ghrelin. I like to call it gremlin. It's the hunger hormone. So all of a sudden, you've gone on this diet, you've reduced your, your energy in, your calories coming in, you're feeling hungry all the time, you're getting tired, and then the, then the diet strategy actually stops working, and then as soon as you eat, you go back to your original weight, sometimes with extra weight. It also increases the hormone cortisol, which is another fat storage hormone. Cortisol is the stress hormone. So it puts your body actually under stress. And while your body's stressed, you're not going to lose weight. Stress triggers a hormonal response that puts your body into a lockdown mode. I always have this um, saying in my programs, the more you sleep, the more you rest, the more weight you will lose. And that is absolutely true in terms of um, weight loss as a long-term strategy. If you, if you want to keep the weight off, you need to do that. So calories are not equal. And going back to what I was saying earlier, 100 calories of sugar will stimulate that hormone insulin and it will signal the body into fat storage mode. However, 100 Calories of fat, for instance, just as an example, will actually have zero impact on insulin and it can actually help you trigger this fat burn mode. So it's not so much the calories, it's what calories you're consuming that makes all the difference here. So the other thing I wanted to cover, second of all, the second biggest myth you've ever been told, and this one might be a little bit challenging for some of you, it is the exercise myth. 
exercise has been proven now, without a doubt, to not be an effective form of weight loss. It's not actually a weight loss strategy. So if you're one of these people that have joined the gym, got a personal trainer, and you've been working out, hard out, and and it hasn't been working, this is why it doesn't work for everybody. Now, I am a big fan of exercise. Do not get me wrong. Exercise in a healthy body, a body that's well, that isn't inflamed, isn't, is, of course, brilliant for longevity. I'm training for a marathon next year myself, so I'm not anti-exercise. But exercise, if you're already overweight or obese or if you're dealing with a medical condition, if your body's inflamed, if you're you know, dealing with chronic stress, it could do more harm than good. And the reason for that is that exercise stimulates ghrelin, stimulates that hunger hormone. So, of course, you go to the gym and you start getting hungry. And you think, oh, I've just done a workout now, so I'm, I can reward myself with a bit of extra stuff. And I know most of you are guilty of that. And so that becomes a major problem. Inflammation also prevents weight loss, okay? So as you work out, you're actually inflaming your muscles. And through that process, it sends an inflammatory response throughout the body, which can do more harm than good. As I said before, inflammation will put the body also into this lockdown mode. And it also stimulates stress and keeps us stuck in what I call the stress hormone weight gain loop, which I won't get into in this video. But basically, the more stressed you are, the more triggered you are to, to gain and store weight. So your body really has to be very relaxed and happy and healthy in order for that to take place. So we have something called the BMR myth. So people think, okay, well, if I exercise, then I'm going to gain more muscle. And because muscle burns more energy than fat, then just by changing my body composition, I'm actually going to do better. And therefore, I can eat more and maintain my weight and things like that. But I'm going to give you the facts on this, which could be quite shocking for some of you to realize. Basically, fat on the body burns three calories per pound that we have. Um, muscle burns 10 calories per pound. So you can see, well, ten, there's a seven calorie per pound difference. That sounds like a lot. But let me put that into perspective if this is the strategy for losing weight and keeping it off. You would have to go to the gym five times a week and do heavy weight training, right? You'd have to become basically a, go onto a bodybuilding regime. And if you're lucky, over a 12-month period, you may gain between four and six pounds of muscle on your body. Now, if we were to calculate the caloric difference between the fat to muscle composition in your body, what's going to happen is that you're going to get about an extra 35 calories a day. Now, an apple has about 50 calories, so it's not a significant amount. In fact, it's insignificant. It just does not work. The one thing you have complete control over is the, is the food that you're eating. That equates for 100% of that energy in. However, exercise at the top end of the scale, can only ever equate for 20%. It's not an equal equation. So this whole thing that we've been programmed, it's in, it's in our home ec rooms, it's school, it's, it's plastered, um, you know, from the time you join um, kindergarten right through to high school, that we have to do this energy in, energy out equation. But in reality, it doesn't work. So what is it? you know, around that and, and why does it not work? And if you still don't believe me, I want to pull out the big guns here. The Women's Health Study is the most expensive study research project ever done um, around women's health. And it had close to 40,000 participants that were involved in this study over a 10-year period. These groups, uh, these women were split, split into three groups. There was a high intensity group, which did uh, over an hour exercise a day. There was a medium one and a low one which was not very much exercise at all. And basically, after 10 years, the conclusion that the researchers came to is that the high-intensity exercise group had no additional weight loss, and the researchers noted there was no change in body composition. So I know that we're going to have a bit of cognitive dissonance here. We're going to, that can't be true. I'm sorry, this is one of the most significant studies ever done. And that, that happened. The reason for that is that our body makes these metabolic adjustments. The more exercise we do, it's going to conserve energy. 
the less we eat, the body's going to continue to conserve energy. So it doesn't work in practice. And I really feel for, you know, majority of women that are spending 17 years of their life listening to this conventional advice and not getting anywhere. And I have thousands of women in my programs around the world, and I do know what works. And I'm here to say, unfortunately, if you're trying exercise, but it's not working for you, I would suggest that you put that on hold just for now. Put that on hold and learn what to eat and when to eat it. The other thing that they did here is just on that calorie note is that they reduced um, one group of women's diet by 300 calories. And over seven years, it did not result in any additional weight loss. As I said before, your body will make those metabolic adjustments depending on what you're putting in. So really, it doesn't work in practice. However, I do know what does work. After 20,000 clinical hours and 20 years plus in research and working in the field of weight loss, there are a lot of things that I've figured out um, through clinical observation that I know work for a fact. So I've created something called the 30-Day Reset Plan, and I want to tell you exactly what that is because I really believe that this is something that could help you get off that yo-yo dieting cycle so that you can actually reclaim your life. Wouldn't it feel fantastic to just know what to eat and when to eat it rather than worrying about the diet side of it or having to weigh and measure foods or count calories or have to be bogged down? The amount of energy exhaustion that it takes and life-consuming energy, I think, is just, it's not worth it. And I am on a mission to transform as many women around the world as I possibly can to get off this cycle, because I know that what I have can really, really work for you. So this 30-day reset plan that I've put together, I'm so excited about this. Um, it, basically, what it does is it breaks the stress hormone weight gain loop. It really does relax and calm your body so that you sleep better, you feel better, you have a lot more energy and vitality. It switches your body into the burn fat mode. So remember before that the standard diet is basically what it's doing is it's signaling you to constantly store fat, store fat, store fat. But what you want to do is you want to know what to eat and when to eat it so that your body can actually um, get access to that stored fat on your body to burn it as fuel. When you do that, you are no longer in starvation mode. There is no signal going to the brain saying, I don't have enough energy, so I'm going to make you hungry and I'm going to you know, drive you to eat right now because I'm starving myself. No, when you're actually in a fat burn mode, your body has biochemically done this metabolic shift now into burning fat from your body as fuel. So if your body needs energy, guess what it does? It just goes to the stored fat on your body and it frees up those fat cells. It passes them through the liver, converts them into energy. So basically what it does is it breaks insulin resistance within weeks. Now we have an epidemic of type 2 diabetes and a lot of people out there are pre-diabetic and they're not even aware of it. That is what insulin resistance is. It's associated with something called metabolic syndrome. It is the number one uh, precursor to most um, early premature death that we're dealing with in the world today. It, it really does impact our vitality, our concentration across the day, our ability to feel good, because what we're dealing with is that is these massive energy fluctuations across the day. The 30-day reset plan completely gets rid of that. You literally have sustained energy from the moment you wake up in the morning. You have this massive mental clarity. People tell me all the time, Deborah, it's like I woke up and the curtains were open, the curtains were drawn. I can see clearly, I can think clearly, the brain fog is lifted. Everything has dramatically changed in me and I can feel now that I've got this. And what that does is it switches something in the brain where you feel so empowered that you now go, oh my goodness, if I feel this good, eating this way, why would I want to do anything else ever again? So it really does become a lifestyle. The other thing that the 30 day reset plan is it protects your metabolism. It protects your metabolism and it is extremely good for thyroid health, whether you have 
hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism, this program actually is like a hormone reset balance, okay? It will work for any type of thyroid condition. It stimulates human growth hormone, which protects against muscle loss. So in normal calorie restriction diets, what happens is that as your body's needing more glucose to fuel itself, it will go to muscle, to the protein in the muscle, and it will convert the muscle um, to glucose. It's called gluconeogenesis. It basically is a muscle breakdown, and this is what happens in standard diets. But on this 30-day reset plan, you don't have that. And not only that, what it does is that this human growth hormone, which is our anti-aging hormone, girls, it makes us young and beautiful. What it does is it increases your muscle growth capacity. So once you get to the right goal and your body's healthy now, then you can start exercising. Your body is now primed for fitness. It's primed to tone. It's primed to actually get you into that right shape body that you really want. Um, the other thing is, is that this program has no pills, no gimmicks, no magic potions. This is food, normal food, that you buy at any local supermarket. It's not going to cost you any more. In fact, most people tell me they completely save money um, over the 30 days. Absolutely, because you're just using real foods. The secret is to know what to eat and when to eat it. It also super boosts something called mitochondria. You may have heard of that, but mitochondria are little, they look, they're like little caterpillary things that live inside the cells in the body. They produce your energy. They convert glucose and fat into energy, ATP we call it, into energy, which is the power grid of your body. The more mitochondria you have, the more energy and vitality and the younger you are. Um, so it's, it's brilliant for, for super boosts boosting that. It's also a powerful anti-inflammatory diet. Now, if you're dealing with any kind of inflammatory condition, whether it's um, PCOS or rheumatoid arthritis or basically 80% of all chronic diseases today are inflammatory, this diet, this, this meal plan, I don't like to call it diet, um, this way of eating, these few adjustments that you can make to when you eat and, and you know, and what to eat can literally squash inflammation, usually within five days. Usually within a very short amount of time, people are feeling, the vast majority of people are feeling the benefits of all of this within five days. That's, that's right. It's very fast acting. And not only that, I've designed this for women of all ages. In fact, if you're dealing with that kind of 40 plus stubborn weight gain, that is a result of insulin resistance over time becoming worse. And then you're tr dealing with this fluctuation of hormones, which can trigger even more of a, a, an insulin response, which basically causes the stubborn menopause or weight gain. I've got over 5,000 women in a community online that have all gone through the menopause or weight gain and they've all managed to lose weight. In fact, most of them now have their figures back that they had in their 20s and 30s. And it's unbelievable. I'm talking about women in their 60s and even 70s here that are now reclaiming their body shape. So this whole thing that we've been told, the once hit 40, the middle-aged spread gets you and it's all downhill from there, it's not true. That is because our hormones make some shifts, but by changing what we eat and when we eat it, we can completely balance those hormones and reset that whole system. So I want to introduce you to something that I've put together because... I'm on a mission to get this out to the world, to share this with as many women as I possibly can. I've helped thousands of women in over 48 countries around the world, and I can't be everywhere all at once. So I've created something to give you a really nice introduction to this lifestyle, to give you all the tools that you need to be able to make the changes that uh, are going to enable you to completely get off this 17 years of chronic dieting. And I've put together something called the 30 Days One Dress Size Challenge. Now, we launched this challenge back in 2016, and it was just hugely successful. In January this year, we put um, another 30-day challenge together, and we had thousands of women from all around the world taking on that challenge, and it was a massive success. So for me as a coach, it, it 
It was an opportunity to create a massive, beautiful global community of supporting and supportive women. So in the 30-day challenge, what I've done is I've put together the full nutrition plan. You get a beautiful book that tells you exactly what to eat, when to eat it, all foods you can buy at the supermarket. You've probably got them in your cupboards right now. Um, I've put together also, you get a personalized weight loss tracker and food diary so that you can monitor your progress and your success. You get full support. I have a team all around the world that are in my Facebook community that's a private secret page that you get to join and you get to be a part of this incredible community and they are in there answering all of your questions 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you are in the supermarket and you don't know what to buy, you can literally get on Facebook, get in that group, post a question and somebody will be there right away to answer that question. It's so cool. Um, So we have a community of thousands of women and what we know is that you are 250 times more likely to succeed in the with the support of a group and support of a coach. This is what I've been able to do for this 30 days, one dress size challenge. And not only that, I show up, this is my favorite thing in the week, I show up and do weekly Facebook Live. So you're able to post all your questions direct to me and I come in and interact with you during a Facebook Live once a week, which is just the coolest thing because there's you know, like hundreds and hundreds of women on there at once. And I get to show up for you and answer, answer any questions that you have. And this really cool thing, is that we have in Messenger now, if you subscribe to this, I'm able to send you daily messages to inspire you and and get you motivated and get you through any little bumps and humps that we have. Because let's face it, right? Sometimes life gets in the way. Sometimes we are challenged. We are triggered. Sometimes something happens that stresses us out and then we just, everything comes unstuck. So that's why I've put together a massive bonus for this 30 days, one dress size challenge. And that is, can you relate to this? I had a lot of fun photographing this. I got to dress up as the inner critic or the devil and the inner coach. These, this is the problem we have, right? We have these two aspects of mind. We have this self-belief and this desire to be more than what we are. Yet we have this inner critic that is is like the other aspect to us that trips us up, that tells us, oh, stuff it, you know, just go and eat that biscuit. It's that pesky voice that derails us, that when something in our daily life triggers us, triggers an emotional response, everything comes unstuck. But for 20 years, I've studied human need psychology, so I'm very much a mind before body coach. And for some women, actually the mindset program is the only thing they need to do. I've had women in my programs literally just do the mindset program and nothing else and still lose weight because what's happening is that they are rewiring their brain to feel differently about themselves, that the the alchemy of what goes on with our thought is affecting every cell in our body and we can literally think ourselves slim. For, For some women, if you were to give me just a few minutes where you got into this mindset and you did the first exercise, I guarantee that there would be a part of your brain, a switch in your consciousness that would shift you from a, not another jolly diet, I can't deal with this stuff, (laughs) into, oh my gosh, I can do this, I'm so motivated and inspired. This is, for most women, the absolute secret weapon that helps us go from stuck to absolute authentic freedom. So I'm going to include in the 30 days, one dress size challenge for you, my essential mindset program. And it's absolutely fundamentally um, so important because if you're relying on willpower to help you succeed at a diet, it's a flawed philosophy. It won't work. Willpower can override, um, you know, I'm being positive, 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 I can do this. It will override Basically, all the subconscious programming that you have, that neural net in your brain where you're hardwired to this negative stuff. So what we need to do is we need to access that and rewire your brain so that you now feel so empowered that you can make those lasting changes. And that's what's so beautiful about that. So in the 30 Days One Dress Size Challenge, you're going to get the full nutrition plan, personalized weight loss tracker and food diary from me. You're going to get full support and love of my team and my community, the community of thousands of women 
all going through the exact thing at the same time as you, where you get to support each other. If you're having a bad day, you show up there and that community will be there to be, it's like having thousands of cheerleaders going, you can do this. And not only that, I I believe that in life, what makes us really happy as, as human beings, authentically happy, is contribution beyond ourselves. When we give and make somebody else's day, that makes us feel good. So in this community, you get to be coached and you get to coach others. It's a fantastic I'm so proud of these communities that I've created online. They could not be better. Um, so you get that. You get the Facebook Lives every week with me coming in and doing a Q&A. You get personally daily inspiration from me direct into Messenger, and you get the full mindset program that I put together. Now, usually a program like this over 30 days or a 30-day challenge, I would be charging around $497 for this program. Now, it would be worth that, wouldn't it? If you could actually... Get off the yo-yo dieting cycle. Go on a program where you're not hungry, where you're feeling fantastic, where you've got more energy than ever, where you are no longer bound to counting calories or watching what you eat so much and, and feeling fatigued and going, this is not worth it, and starting the Monday diet and finishing and sabotaging it by Wednesday, Thursday. It would be worth $497, right? But I'm not going to charge you that. At the moment, I have a very limited amount of places. I think there's about 500 places because we can't clog the internet. We cannot have too many people coming into this challenge at one time. Um, My team and I, we have limited resources. So I've opened up just 500 spots at a very, very special price for today if you join up on this live, but you need to get in quick. Um, If you want to do that, go to the link above. I'm charging just $47. Forty-seven dollars for everything. You're going to get the nutrition plan, the personalised weight loss tracker, and food diary. The full support of my team and I, community of thousands of women that have been there, walked that path before you, and are walking it with you. The Facebook lives, the Q and A from me, the personalised daily inspiration, direct your messenger. So you wake up every day of that thirty-day challenge to something really cool in your inbox. It's going to set you going for the day, so that you're feeling inspired, and you're going to get my mindset program, which is absolutely priceless. It really is the catalyst that makes a massive difference to so many people's lives. And you're going to get that for just $47. But I do really encourage you to do that straight away because um, we are literally going to fill up this challenge extremely fast at this price. And this is basically what I'm offering now. So I want to just tell you um, a little bit about some of the people that have done this challenge before you. In fact, One of these women um, now works for me. I met this woman online in 2006. Her name's Kelly James. And Kelly James was an amazing woman that came into the 30-day challenge and she just followed it to a T. And she was posting beautiful photos of her food and her meals that she was doing that day and became such an active member in that group and was so successful that I actually offered Kelly a job. I took her out of her job that she was in for 11 years and I gave her this opportunity to come and work for our team since then she's travelled to Bali to do retreats with me, she's come out to New Zealand, she'd never been on a plane before, she lives in Australia and it's completely changed her life but Kelly said here, I joined Deb's challenge in September 2016 and lost lost a massive 6 kilos on that, that was in the 30 days, it's about 14 pounds through Deb's teaching, not only have I learned how to nourish myself for weight loss and health but I've also gained self-belief and love by following her unique mindset approach, Deb has quite literally changed my life and I know she will do the same for you. Kelly went on to lose um, over 50 pounds, over about 26 and a half kilos and she's kept that off now since, since back then. So I just love her and you'll love her. She's one of my main support team um, who's there to hold your hand through this experience as well. And Deborah Jenkins said, this is the way I eat now. It's the way of life. It's a way of life, not a diet. I'm so relieved that finally my relationship with food has changed. It no longer occupies my mind constantly. I no longer have to beat myself up every day and start a new diet tomorrow. And Deborah Jenkins has gone on to be one of our pod leaders. She actually gets groups of women once to, once a month together and they meet up and they have their, um, their beautiful meals together and stuff like that. So she's become a really important part of our community. And I love these ones when people post this. Marcia Akon said... Um, and this was in February, uh, she'd just done the January 30-day challenge that we, we did, um, we don't do them very often. <laughs> um, she said, this is the gift that keeps on giving. I weighed myself this morning and have lost 7.5 kilos since 
22nd of January, hashtag winning. That was like in three weeks. 7.5 kilos is about 16, 17 pounds. Um, so it's fantastic. And Jo Smythe said this. I like this one. She said, so it's the last day of Feb. I've completed the 30-day challenge. I've lost five kilos, which is about 12 pounds, feeling amazing and have learned so much in the journey. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you to your team. And thank you for this group, to this group for everything. This is my way of eating and enjoying food from now on. Many years of trying so many diets and programs, none have been as successful as this. So here's to the new me and loving it. Got to go buy my dress now. And that's what happens. Like imagine in 30 days from starting the challenge that you are now at least one dress size smaller. Many women go on and lose a lot more than that. And imagine just being able to get back into those clothes that you may not have got into for a while. And that's what this program does. But it's not just the physical transformation. It's really not. I'm not here to make the world skinny and beautiful. I'm here to make you healthy for you to feel good about your life. And that's the gift that I believe I was born to give to this world. And that's why I'm so passionate about getting as many people involved as possible with this movement. And definitely click on the link and go to the 30 days. You can do that right now. And there's information there for you. Charlene said, hello, lovely ladies. What a wonderful experience this 30 day challenge was. I have appreciated all the support this group has offered. It certainly got me through some tough times on the challenge. I have finished up by losing four kilos. It's about nine, uh, 10 pounds, dropping 14 centimeters um, and one dress size. I have learned that even though I thought this body could not lose weight anymore, given the right conditions, it can. I'm looking forward to continuing this journey and intend to be 50 and fabulous. Go well. So you may have a few questions. So I thought I'd take a, a, just one minute here to an answer some of the key questions that people like to ask us. Some of them is, well, the first one I've already answered, which is, you know, do I have to buy a bunch of supplements to to get on after, you know, for your program. No, you don't need to buy anything. Everything you need to be healthy is in your supermarket. It is probably already in your pantry. I'm just going to teach you what to eat and when to eat it. And that's the difference. That's just the missing piece of the puzzle. Um, will this program work for vegetarians and vegans? Yes, we actually have meal plans for vegetarians and vegans. So absolutely, we adapt to all lifestyles. Can I still exercise on this program? Yes. Okay, so even though I don't advocate and exercise is not part of this program right now, okay, this is not part of the 30-day program. The 30 days is to reset your hormones, get you into fat-burning mode, reduce inflammation, get you feeling good, get that energy and vitality back and get your body relaxed and you're sleeping well so that then you become primed for exercise later, right? If you're already exercising, you can continue to do that. It's not a problem. If your body is primed and conditioned for what it's doing in, in its daily activity, you can absolutely continue to do that. I just, like me training for a marathon, don't train for a marathon right now. That's what I, what I kind of suggest against. But if you're already running X amount of Ks or going to the gym and your body's used to that and it's not going to inflame your body or stress your body out, then continue to do that. Um, also, am, I'm gluten-free. Will this work for me? Absolutely. The program totally caters for all food intolerances. Even if you've got irritable bowel syndrome, we have um, adjustments for all different food intolerances, FODMAPs, all sorts of things. So um, we have a team in there that's able to help you with all of those sorts of things. So we cater for all those things. So I'm just going to go through very quickly again, and don't forget to get to that landing page. You click on the link and you can go there and be one of those members that gets to have this opportunity to join the challenge just for that significantly reduced price today. I really don't want you to miss out on that. Um, so what you're going to get is you're going to get your full nutrition plan, a personalized weight loss tracker and food diary, full support from my amazing community and I, community of thousands of women that have done this challenge, that are doing this challenge with you, that are going to hold your hand and be there 24 hours a day when you are feeling frustrated or happy or you want to share a success or you're just needing a little bit of moral support, you go there and this community will be there to support you. It's 
truly the most significant part of this whole thing to me. You're going to get me popping up in Facebook Live so you can ask me direct questions and I will be there interacting with you on those Facebook Lives. They're lots of fun and I'll be doing that once a week. And you're going to get daily personalised inspiration from me. So every morning you wake up, I'm going to get you in the right mindset. I'm going to trigger something in you where you're going to be motivated and inspired and, and know that you've just got this, right? You've got this. And you're also going to get that mindset program, which is absolutely the most important thing that we need to do. If we want to change something in our lives, it starts in the mind. If we want to stick at a change long term, we have to rewire our, our mind. We have to re rewire our subconscious and our brain and those neural nets and how we're hardwired. We have to pull those that wiring apart and rewire it so that those things last, so that this lifestyle becomes a lifestyle for you. And I really, really do feel extremely passionately, I'm sure you can tell, um, I'm excited and extremely passionate about giving this gift to you and you being part of our success stories like thousands and thousands of women in over 48 countries around the world already have. So click on the link in the 30 Days Wondrous Size Challenge and that we can transform the world together. I really believe that we can get off that yo-yo dieting cycle, get over, reclaim those 17 years of our life where we're consumed with food, where we're obsessed in this, where we're now not loving our bodies, not loving the skin we're in because we're constantly feeling as though our efforts are working against us, that our body's at war with us somehow. You can break that cycle and I really wish that you, you know, really hope that you join the challenge so that I get to help inspire you and teach you all the tools that you need to be able to do that. So click on the link and I look forward to connecting with you in the 30-day challenge. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the group.